friendly greetings again. Right here, right now, I'm going to show you how to use the Pi menu. If you've never used it before, you'll find it very, very common in your everyday second life. If I right click just about anywhere on myself, my avatar, right now, you'll notice I have these choices and they look like slices on a pie, hence the name. If I click, right click on an in world object, you'll notice a pie menu also comes up, but with different choices. For example, I can sit here. And then I go ahead and I do that. And then I can stand up. And there's many layers to the pie menu for some of the options. For example, if I right click my avatar again, then I take off and I have these options to start taking off my clothes <laughs> or my attachment. So I'll show you a simple example. I will go to detach. I will say I'll take something off my torso and remove my attachment that's on my pelvis. I think that's gonna be the lower part of my coat. Let's see. And yes, it is. It's gone for now because I just detached it. And what you can also do with the pie menu, if you really want to, you can right click somewhere and go here. And as long as walls or something don't block you, that provides a sort of autopilot. Unfortunately, I'm not smart enough to get across there without flying, so let's try that again. Fly, and then right click and go here. And aha, there you have it. So there's many ways to explore the Pi menu. The autopilot isn't the best, by the way, but it works sometimes. And you'll want to right click to bring it up and see all these options. I can even get information on this land. The Pi menu is often an alternate route to a number of things that can be accessed elsewhere but sometimes it's just handy. Er, to use the pie menu. <laughs>